All right, we got one here that we got bank ones every retarded second of PO 112. We're expecting it's probably just a solenoid. Want a quick look at timing. Doesn't look too bad. It's pretty close. Just a little off. Not looking too bad. We're going to use the E scan to try to capture the problem when it occurs. It's Setting the PO 0112 over retarded bank one. There it comes. It almost seems like it has to be flexed a little bit to do it. A little bit of acceleration. Seems to recover. It's not recovering this time. Still doing it. Haven't set the code yet. Clear up, still ain't set the code. Here it comes again. Alright, let's see if it's turned it off yet. Let's see if it stopped the scope. Does it stop the scope? So we have a capsule we're looking for. Go back, make sure the scope stayed off. Yes. Now we have what we're looking for. This thing is basically. It almost acts like the solenoid is leaking down is what I'm suspicious of, but I'm seeing control wide. So I want to make sure it's not shorting the ground. We'll see what this control actually looks like. The control looks normal. It looks like the computer is actually controlling it. I don't see a problem. My timing has moved drastically. Let's move in here. We'll go back before the computer started commanding duty cycle and see how bad it looks. This one just about time the event started. Yes. Timing has moved considerably. And then we got a distorted signal. I'm assuming that's when that knocking and pinging is going on there. That's kind of odd. That signal doesn't look good. Back up again. Now this is just before. You can see my cam is way off. The green cam is way retarded. This moved drastically. Take a screenshot of that. There we go. Oops. There. Don't want that. Don't want this much screenshot. What'd you guys do? Change the damn app. Give me a screenshot. Good. Get yeah, away. All right, we'll zoom back out the full, but you can see we're, we're way off. Get the cursors just to see how far we're actually off. Cylinders. All right, then we're going to come over here. These should line up. Everybody's aware of this. And we're what? 63 degrees and that's about what the computer is saying 63 degrees all right let's zoom back out full we'll come down here where we're i think about here we're actually out on halfway decent take a look all right we're still out of time let's see if i got a clear up shot here nope still out of time so we didn't capture a good one i want to save this file before i do anything we'll save that file and capture another and see it takes a little too long we'll just save to the desktop worry about changing it later call it no bad call it, hold it cancel no bad we're going to save this to the desktop Seven Ford. That one could be good enough. All right, save that. You guys can clearly see we're, we're way out of time. Now I'm just gonna grab a normal. Start deep record while it's all in the smooth. 
and we'll zoom in on 720 again and you see my timing it's pretty good we're looking good here lining up good right there they are just a little off if anything yeah it looks real good it looks fine but the main thing i was wanting to show is that new feature from eScope to be able to stop your scope recording once the code sets pretty cool feature